With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A particle of mass m moving with a velocity u makes an elastic one dimension collision with a stationary particle of mass m. Establishing the contact with it for extremely short small time t their force of contact increases from 0 to f not linearly in t by 4 time remain constant for further t by 2 time then de decreases linearly from f not to 0 in further t by 4 as shown magnitude possessed by f not s so if you see both the balls are of same mass if you see it is given that elastic one dimensional collision with a stationary particle of same mass m right so the masses are same and collision is elastic right so we know that in elastic collision between two balls of same mass two identical balls the velocity get exchanged after the collision so let me write it here in elastic collision between two identical ball balls what will happen when they will collide right what will happen their velocity get exchange after the collision Velocity means magnitude as well as direction, right? Now, if you see initially this M mass was moving and this M mass was stationary. After collision, what will happen? This will remain in stationary and it will start moving with the same velocity in the same direction as that of the first mass. This is the first, this is the second. So it was moving with velocity u and now it is moving with velocity u and now this is at, uh, initially this was at rest, now this is at rest. So if you see here, the impulse will act on the two in this direction. On this, it will act in this direction and dt. Right? So, if we talk about the impulse, it will be equal to change in momentum, right? So, I will write the impulse. Let's say I am writing on any of the ball, if you write, you will get the same impulse because the impulse magnitude is same but equal and opposite, right? But in opposite direction, right? So, it will be final momentum minus initial momentum that is change in momentum. So, final momentum is mu. Initially, this was at rest. So, it will be and dt will be equals to this. This is the change in momentum. Now, if you see the curve here, this curve is between f and t. So, what will give? Uh, what does it will give? So, we already know that f dt is equals to this, right? We know that the force is nothing but a change in rate of change of momentum, right? So, from here you can write this. So, if you calculate the area of this curve, right? It will be what? It will be the change in momentum only. Right, uh, so if you see the area of this part, it, it, this is a triangle and this is a triangle, right? Both are of same base and same height, right? The base is t by 4. Here the base is also t by 4 and the height is f naught. So let's calculate the area now. So half into base into height. Again half into base into height. This is, now this length is t by 2.
so this will be a rectangle area will be this now you can add them if you see this is a ft by 8 this is also ft by 8 right so it will be ft by 4 so total area will will write here f not t by 2 plus this will be f this plus this will be ft by 4 so basically we got it is 2 by 4 plus 1 by 4 3 by 4 so this will be equal to the change in momentum that we got after calculation this so just equate them change in momentum it uh, that is this and it will be equals to the impulse implied so this is what this is impulse and this we got it is equal to 3 by 4 this 3 by 4 f naught t this quantity is From here, I can write down this. Now, you can check for the option. The F0 is equals to 4 mu by 3t. So, 4 mu by 3t is C. C is the correct one. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.